The latest release, Cascader 2025.1, introduces a standout feature in betweening. That might sound technical, but here's the simple version. It's like magic for your animations. With in-betweening, you pick two poses and the software automatically fills in the gaps with buttery smooth transitions. Imagine animating a fall, a run, or even a complex action sequence and getting professional level results in mere minutes. Right now, it's optimized for locomotion actions like walking, running, and crawling, but more features are on the horizon. It's like having a co-animator who works tirelessly, never complains, and always executes perfectly. But wait, there's more. Cascader doesn't stop at just helping with the in-betweens. It's stacked with tools designed to push animation boundaries. Let's talk about auto-posing for a second. The improved auto-posing rig makes positioning characters way more intuitive. The behavior of the spine, pelvis, and other controls has been upgraded so that your characters move naturally, almost like they've got a skeleton of their own. Then there's auto-physics. Animators will remember this tool from earlier versions, but it's now been fine-tuned to perfection. Basically, it uses geometry-based logic to ensure your animations feel grounded in reality. No more weirdly floating objects or characters defying physics unless, of course, you're working with superheroes. There's even a new slider for tweaking exactly how much the physics should influence your animation. And here's my personal favorite, the Ragdoll Interaction feature. Cascader now allows characters to physically interact with props in your scenes. Picture this a character falling onto a couch, bouncing off it, and landing naturally on the ground. It all happens seamlessly. Whether you're working with kinematic or convex mesh colliders, Ragdoll Interaction has you covered. Now, if you're worried about compatibility, Chascader has also thought of that. It works with popular tools like Blender and Daz 3D and now supports GLT and GB file formats. Oh, and importing files. Updated, easier, and faster than ever. That makes it a no-brainer tool to integrate into your existing workflow. Here's the thing. Yes, Cascader feels like a dream come true, but there's one question looming over this innovation. Will it make animators obsolete? Let's clear that up right now. Cascader isn't replacing animators. It's empowering them. Tools like this aren't here to take away the human element of creativity. Instead, they strip away the repetitive grind so that you can focus on the artistry and storytelling that makes your work unique. If you've made it this far, you're probably wondering, how do you get started with Cascader and is it worth the investment? Here's the good news. It's surprisingly affordable considering the value it offers. Plus, you can even explore free trials to get a hands-on experience. Whether you're new to animation or an industry veteran, trust me, it's a game changer.